Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? I hope you are having a wonderful day. It's currently just a midday over here in the sunny UK. And yeah, we are good. I am back. I've been really, really busy. So Sam has done a massive favour and has done an amazing job at picking up the channel for the past couple of days. But I am back now. I'm back for good. And we are bringing you some quality, quality content. What are we talking about today? Well, there has been big news in the AMC. The squeeze is coming. Now, before we get further into that, I would like to remind you all, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm merely a university student. So take everything I say with a pinch of salt. Make sure you do your own due diligence. All stocks are battlefields. We can only identify them for you. We cannot fight the battle for you. And make sure you like, subscribe, drop a comment down below and we've now got our discord so if you want to keep up to date and have personal chats with myself and sam then make sure you join that find out what we're looking at what we think's hot at the moment what we're looking at for the next months year what have you it's just there ask us any questions queries anything you don't understand and that is golden now amc what is happening with it as we can look at the graph, we have been in a constant, constant uptrend from the 18th of February. So as you can see, little spikes and it is just trending up until here. Now, why is this here catching my eye? Now, you can look at that as the potential gamma squeeze, the bit before everything. Now, why do I say that and why do I think that's relevant at the moment? So, Volkswagen 2008, short squeeze there. What caused that short squeeze? Well, it came out that Porsche, Ford, a bunch of other car manufacturers owned a large percentage of the shares that Volkswagen owned. So, 15% of the stock was shorted, but there were only about 5% of the shares available to buy freely available so it just it couldn't happen now what has happened and why do i think the squeeze is coming well as you can see on screen here there have been 14.4 million shares queued so that is a i, I cannot put into words how large that is and the demand that that will cause hedge funds they'll wet themselves over this and i don't want to sound cheesy or corny but they really really will this is a large amount of shares being put in and regular people can't buy the that quantity of shares we don't have the capital to do that who does have the capital to do that institutions other institutions are now getting involved and fighting against the hedge funds because it's a business world at the end of the day if on the if Melvin Capital goes bust, Goldman Sachs has a larger audience coming to them, so they make more money. It's just, it's, institutions are now involved, and the hedge funds that have shorted this are in big, big trouble. As we can see from all of our indicators, the RSI is still borderline oversold. So, pre-market's looking a little bit red at the moment, but... I expect it to be red for the moment and then at open we're going heavy green. So as you can see RSI's borderline oversold. It touched, yeah it, it's just all up in the air at the moment. The volume if we have a quick look. The volume again is pre-market but as we can see there's not masses of volume. This here, this big slump of here indicates to me profit taking. So people who invested here because... I don't know if you recall or if you watched the video, we did make a few videos telling or calling AMC as a really, really good buy when it was down at $5. So I believe a lot of other people have seen that, they've got in and yeah, they've come up here and they've got out, which again, you can't blame them, but I feel they could be about to lose out on a lot of money. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence. Moving on, if we look at the moving averages, the SMA, whatever you've got, whatever your kind of 
screen is showing you add we can see here where it's broken over and it's gapped up there it's gapped up above the 21 day and the 50 day moving average this is big this is a good indicator that this is a buy right now so again this is my own personal preference this is what i think is happening and just like to clarify they had a poor earnings report the other day their earnings report was not good so the fact that it was not good and we still didn't see it slump is a sign that people are just holding in there and hedge funds have to buy back options are expiring they do have expiry dates on them because the people who loaned them these contracts want their shares back it is just how it works so that is all from me today i hope you will have a wonderful rest of the day and yeah until next time take care